my channel and if you're new what up so you guys today i'm going to be showing y'all winter fragrances that i wish bath and body works would bring back okay these are like top tier winter fragrances for me ones that i really enjoy that they never brought back and more than likely i probably do not have a backup of some of these i wish i did um so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys so if you have these you can probably pull them out and enjoy them get some nostalgia from them remember them love on them all of that good stuff these are really some bangers if i do say so myself so yeah yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my picks. Before we get into the video, I just want to talk about my makeup really quick because I love it. Love it. I know I haven't done a makeup tutorial like since the beginning of fall, but this is my powder foundation routine. I went back to doing my powder foundation routine and I am loving it. You can't even tell. Like my skin is just so shiny and glowy and nice, but I still feel matte. Like I don't feel oily at all. And it's because of this powder foundation routine. I love it so much. So, of course, I will have all of the products linked down in the description box for you to check out. Um, and then my hair. Now, listen. I don't know how people be going 10 days with a wash and go. I can't do it. Like, I cannot do it, y'all. This is a four-day-old wash and go. And y'all can see this thing is frizzy. She done shrunk up. Usually when I start with my wash and goes, I uh, diffuse my hair and blow it out so that it's a little bit longer. My wash and goes start like right here and y'all can see where it's at now. Like I have a bob, okay? The shrinkage is absolutely real. Anyway, so I don't know how people be going 10 days with a wash and go and I can't even make it a week. Like look at the frizz, look at the frizz, which I already know that... Um, I have high porosity hair and I've started treating it as such. My hair is like super, super high porosity. So I am prone to frizz and knots and breakage and all of that stuff, which is like I said, why I've started treating it as high porosity. But baby, the frizz is real. I cannot do a wash and go for 10 days to save my life. And I try not to like fluff it out too much because that's how you make it more frizzy. But baby, it's, it's no helping it. Anywho. Y'all ain't come here for all of that. Y'all came here for these fragrances. So we just gonna jump right into it, okay? So I'm gonna start with a banger. I really didn't realize how much I love this scent until I started using it like consistently and I went through a full set of it and I was just like, damn, I only have one backup, no more shower gels, no more lotions. Like it's gone after I finished this mist and I'm sad about it and they didn't bring it back. And that is gingerbread latte. That Jolly Gingerbread Village that they have out now, don't even compare. Don't even, that's like a heavy, woody, spicy type of scent with no gingerbread. Like no sweetness, no cookie, no nothing. And while gingerbread latte obviously doesn't smell like gingerbread cookies, this definitely is a very warm, gingerbready, sweet type of scent. So it's giving more gingerbread sweetness than Jolly Gingerbread Village, okay? This one is Santa's Gingerbread Frosted Pear Brown Sugar. The brown sugar note in this is beautiful in addition to that like spicy gingerbready type of note. And then the pear, I feel like the pear just, it literally is not like a super fruity scent. It literally is not like a fresh scent. The pear literally adds something so good to this. And I don't know why they added pear in this and it's called Gingerbread Latte, but when I tell y'all, it is a great addition to this fragrance. Y'all, this is so good. And I'm just so sad that I don't have a backup of this. Like I said, this is very, very warm. This gives cozy vibes. This gives wintry type of vibes. This gives making a gingerbread house or baking cookies during the winter time. Like that's exactly what this gives. I miss this fragrance so much. If they brought it back, I would definitely buy a couple of backups to have and to enjoy. This is this is really, really nice. And my favorite way to wear this actually was with Kayali's Vanilla 28. I just felt like those brown sugar notes went really, really well. And it was just like the perfect addition to this fragrance. <laughs> this smells so, so good. I want to use it this winter, but I don't want to run out of it because I know if I start using it, I'm probably going to fly through it, okay? Um, the next fragrance that I want to see them bring back, and I know a lot of people want to see them bring back every time i talk about this fragrance i get so many comments of people saying that they never got the chance to try it they never bought it they hope it's back for sas i hope it comes back too for y'all because wrapped in vanilla is literally the best gourmand that they've done and i like a lot of gourmands from bath and body works y'all know i am a gourmand fiend pretty much all of the gourmands from bath and body works that have come out recently i have them and 
Um, even when I took a break from Bath & Body Works, I still bought some gourmand scents here and there. There's some that I miss out on, like Santa's Blueberry, what is it? Santa's Blueberry Shortbread and the Bright Lemon Snowdrop. I don't have those, so I'm not gonna talk about those, but I know a lot of people would want those to come back as well. But Wrapped in Vanilla is literally the best gourmand fragrance that they've ever done. I just went through a whole full bottle of this. Love this. This is so heavy vanilla and creamy just it really wraps you in warmth it wraps you in comfort it wraps you in vanilla this is a winter not even just winter this is a cold weather fragrance okay as soon as it starts to hit fall all the way into spring okay you can wear wrapped in vanilla really you can wear wrapped in vanilla whenever you want all year round but this is definitely a winter cold weather staple i love this so so much so so much glad i have more of it okay um, another fragrance that I'm like, listen, why are y'all like taking away all the good fragrances, all the good gourmands? So many people have been complaining about that, that like this year they didn't give us any gourmands for real, for real. And I agree with that. Joy Sugar Snickerdoodle. This is another one that I'm glad I have backups of. This is really, really good. The ultimate sugar cookie type of fragrance with spice. It's a heavy, creamy sugar cookie, like a doughy sugar cookie. And then it has that spice. So it's Snickerdoodle Spice, Creamy Vanilla, Sugared Musk. 100% a bomb winter fragrance that should have came back, that needs to come back. If you missed out on this one, I don't know what to say. It is so good. And a lot of people compare this to Christmas cookies. I think they are totally different. This one legit smells like a Snickerdoodle sugar cookie type of fragrance. Um, a sugar cookie with cinnamon sprinkled on it is a Snickerdoodle. Christmas cookies does not give me Snickerdoodle. It does not give me sugar cookie either. Um, I don't know what kind of cookie it gives me, but not sugar cookie. Matter of fact, this one kind of gives me more of like the Sandy's shortbread cookies, whereas Joy Sugar Snickerdoodle literally gives me like a Snickerdoodle cookie. So I love this one. This is so good. This is definitely one that they should have brought back. And then from that same collection, Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. Absolutely love this. This might not seem like a straight up winter fragrance and it's not, not really, but it does have a coldness to it. It does have a creaminess to it. So it's definitely fit for winter. This one is Velvet Peach Vanilla Meringue Creamy Jasmine. The Vanilla Meringue, which is like a, a marshmallow cream, definitely gives um, a creamy wintery type of vibe in my opinion. So while yes, this one is fruity, it definitely is a creamy type of scent, a creamy fruity type of scent. And I absolutely love, love, love this one. Um, surprisingly enough, this is one that I didn't get enough backups of. So I think I only have this mist and then a um, diamond shimmer mist. So that's crazy. I know I have like some lotions, like a couple lotions of this, but I'm like, yo, I did not get a lot, a, a lot of backups of this one. And I don't know why, but that's definitely one that needs to come back. And since I already mentioned Christmas cookies, I'm going to talk about this one. I don't know why they didn't bring this one back as well. This was a hit. Like this is like wrapped in vanilla. So many people wanted this one back. So many people raved about this one and begged for them to bring it back. And they haven't. I don't understand why Christmas cookies is a hit. Like I said, this reminds me of the um, pecan sandies. That's what this smells like to me. So it's creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. If you are a fan of pecan sandies or if you know that cookie and you're familiar with it that's basically what christmas cookie smells like it's so so good i love it it's warm it's almondy it has some caramel in there it, it literally just smells comforting it smells like christmas it smells like winter like a warm cozy house i love this one so definitely wish that that one would come back and now i feel like the rest of the scents that i have are more on the fruity side so they give winter but they're like fruity winter, like frosted winter, okay? So the first one is gonna be Frosted Snow Blossom. Absolutely love this fragrance. This is your floral, but this is a pretty floral, a fruity floral, a sweet floral. So damn good. Have no idea why they never brought this one back. This is just such a dainty, feminine, pretty winter scent. Like this is an everyday winter signature type of scent. I don't have the scent notes for you guys, but like I said, it's a floral, um, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's delicate, it's feminine. It's soft. It kind of reminds me of a uh, flower sorbet from Victoria's Secret. Like they give the same vibe. So if you're familiar with flower sorbet, then I'm pretty sure that you would like Frosted Snow Blossom if they ever brought it back. But yes, I love this one. It smells a little bit cold as well. So that one is so good. Secret Wonderland, they brought this one back and then took it away. So I don't know, this was like a limited edition 
limited time only fragrance so it's luscious strawberry frosted jasmine petals and white amber and again this one does have like that frosted type of scent to it so it's definitely giving a fruity type of smell it's definitely giving amber like ambery but not super warm ambery um but it does have like this coldness to it a frostiness so this one was super super pretty i know a lot of people were so happy when this one came back they were asking for this one to come back they brought it back i did get a backup of this one so i am happy to have it happy that i was able to try it out this is a really nice fruity frosty winter type of scent okay and then we have fresh sparkling snow now this one actually comes back but i don't know why this year they haven't brought it back they brought it back last year i believe um and then they brought it back this year in the pocket bag and the hand soap but they didn't bring back the body care so i'm not sure but this one is amazing this one to me smells like melon fruit punch and i love it in all the different forms in the hand soap this year you get more of the melon scent but this to me really smells like fruit punch with a heavy melon note it's so good so yummy um this one can definitely go all the way into spring 100 for sure but i love it it's definitely a really good winter time fragrance to kind of break up the monotony of like warm cozy type of scents and like bakery type of scents so this one is really really good another one to kind of break up the monotony of all of that as well is a thousand christmas wishes and this one is beautiful i thought that they were going to do this scent as like a running tradition so like the same way they have the signature collection of a thousand wishes i thought a thousand christmas wishes was going to be like a signature christmas scent that came back every year but unfortunately i haven't seen it this year it has not come out this one is pomegranate prosecco sweet elderberry star jasmine and sugared woods it's different than the original um a thousand wishes this one is more tart sugary sweet um it's definitely good and i think the reason why i like this one is because it kind of reminds me of be enchanted a little bit it to me smells like a cross between be enchanted and winterberry wonder and so i really do enjoy this one it's definitely sparkling tart fruity fun festive like this is a really great wintertime scent all the way up until new year's for sure like this one is great for holiday parties if you want to be a little bit more perfumey if you want to be a little bit more noticed this one is definitely that so um i don't know why they didn't bring that one back and the very last fragrance I want to show you guys is Cashmere Glow. This one is your velvety, peachy, vanilla type of scent. Grown woman, lasts all day. Very, very strong. Um, still a warm winter fragrance, but still fruity. Just super, super pretty. Don't know why they didn't bring this one back. Um, like I had said in my video where I talked about like the 10 longest lasting fragrance mist for the season, the signature collection that Bath & Body Works used to have back in the day with like Sensual Amber, Cashmere Glow, um, Twilight Woods, Dark Kiss, all of those fragrances used to be super strong, heavy hitters, perfumey type scents and Cashmere Glow definitely falls in that category. This is, like I said, a perfumey, velvety peach, vanilla scent, very feminine, very classy. Um, it kind of puts me in the same mindset of Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret. If you're familiar with that fragrance, it has like kind of that same warmth oh i really love cashmere glow definitely a winter scent like i feel like that one would definitely cut through cold weather and it would definitely like warm you up and you would be able to smell it in the cold so that one is a great winter scent that i wish they would bring back but you guys that is it those are my fragrances that i wish that bath and body works would bring back for the winter time these are winter staples they're super super fun for the winter time they're festive they get me in the mindset of winter so i would love to see them come back or see something similar to these fragrances come back especially the gourmands because where are our gourmands this year like what is going on okay so i hope you guys enjoy seeing my lineup of winter fragrances that i would love for them to bring back if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below letting me know what winter fragrances you would want them to bring back and if you're new thank you so much for watching you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace